Today I'm going over all the villagers and their trades, so you can see what is actually available and know what are the best villagers to get. But first, let's go over some basics. If you find a villager with the trades you like, remember to trade at least once to lock in all the trades you see, because these can change when the villager loses its job and gets a new one. Changing the workbench is a good way to get new and better trades, and then locking in all the ones you like. Keep this in mind. The amount of trades you can do with the villager is usually 16 or 12, but for some items you can only do 3 trades until it gets disabled. The villager then refills the trade, but only up to twice per day. The best time to trade with the villager is when you have just woken up and then wait about 1 minute. This is their work time, so they will now refill the trades almost instantly. Each villager has 5 levels and starts from novice, then apprentice, journeyman, expert and finally the master level. You can unlock higher levels by just trading with the villager and the new level is reached when the XP bar reaches the end. The price they sell you items at is dependent on a couple of factors. Attacking or killing a villager will make the nearby villagers increase their price. Trading one item from one villager too many times will also make them increase the price, but this is temporary and will go back to normal over time. There are also ways to make the prices better. First one would be to win a raid at your village. This gives you the hero of the village effect and the prices drop, but not too much. The second and the best way is to let the villager turn into a zombified villager, then cure it by using a weakness potion and a golden apple. After it heals, you can see the prices are better, but you can do the same process again and again until all the prices are just one emerald. This is easily doable with a villager trading hall and we have showcased it before, where the zombie is always behind the villager, so it's easy to do this method. A total of 14 villagers exist, with one of them being the wandering trader. Every villager I'm gonna show you will have lots of trade options, but remember that for each level there can only be a total of 2 new trades that you will unlock, which will be chosen randomly. So if you wanna get a trade you like, you may need to get multiple villagers, or try multiple times. First I'm gonna go over all of the villagers and their trades, and then show you my top 5 favorite villagers that you should definitely own. First one is the armorer, their job side block is the blast furnace. If you get the iron trade down to just costing 1, you can trade iron for emeralds, but much better are the expert and master level trades, where you will unlock a whole set of diamond armor. This is really useful, especially when you get it down to costing just one emerald. Then we have the butcher, who requires a smoker as their job site. I would never recommend selling your raw food for emeralds, but at the apprentice level you can get cooked food for your emeralds. With the cartography table you can get the cartographer, at the apprentice level you can get the ocean explorer map, this will bring you to a guaranteed treasure. But at the journeyman level, you can get the woodland explorer map, directing you to the woodland mansion, which is pretty awesome. The cleric, whose job site block is a brewing stand, offers some pretty interesting trades. You can sell your rotten flesh for emeralds, and then use it to buy redstone. Or at the journeyman level, you can buy glowstone blocks, so you don't even need to go to the nether for those. And the master level offers bottle of enchanting, if you want to get those for some reason. Placing down a composter makes one of the most popular villagers the farmer. You can trade your wheat, potatoes, carrots and beetroot for emeralds, which is super useful, especially when you get the prices down to just one. So one carrot could be worth one emerald to you. Even pumpkins and melons can be exchanged for emeralds in the apprentice and journeyman levels. The master level unlocks golden carrots, but if you have a gold farm, it is cheaper to craft those yourself. With the barrel you get a fisherman, at the journeyman level you can buy an enchanted fishing rod which has a random enchant, and at the master level you can sell your boats for emeralds, so basically trading wood for emeralds. Using the fletching table you get a fletcher, at the first level you can sell your sticks for emeralds, again trading wood for emeralds, and this is a especially good deal when you get the price down to just one stick per emerald. Otherwise, it doesn't have many great items here. Cauldron is a job site block for the leather worker. 
Leather armor for emerald seems like a total scam, so don't buy those. Except there is one master level trade where you can buy saddles for emeralds. That seems pretty good. With the lectern, you get a librarian. At the first four levels of the librarian, he will offer you a randomly chosen enchanted book. This is really useful. You can get infinite unbreaking books, efficiency, silk touch, mending or any other book. And again, you can get those prices down to just one emerald. So this is really good. And the master level librarian will sell you name tags. The stone cutter is a job site block for the mason. He will buy your stone for emeralds. And at the master level, you can get quartz pillars and quartz blocks for emeralds. Which is a really good deal if you want to get quartz blocks for building something. These blocks otherwise are not that easy to get. With a loom, you can get a shepherd. He buys all kinds of wool and ties, which you could get from a flower farm. But I think getting a farmer villager and selling him crops is a way better choice to get emeralds. Using the smithing table, you get a toolsmith. In the journeyman level, you can buy a diamond hoe for emeralds. But at the expert and master level, you can get enchanted diamond axe, shovel and pickaxe just for emeralds. Bring the price down to just one emerald and this is an amazing deal. Grindstone will turn your villager into a weaponsmith. Same as the toolsmith, at the expert and master level you can buy enchanted diamond tools, a diamond axe and a diamond sword. Again, do the trick to get the price down to one emerald. For the last villager, you will need to do nothing and he will appear, the wandering trader. He will sell a lot of different items as you can see, but only 6 of them will be randomly chosen from this list. It's still worth checking if he has something that you might need. And a really useful trade here is the slime balls, which he trades for 4 emeralds. Especially good when you don't have a slime farm. These were all the 14 villagers and their trades, but here are 5 must have slash my favorite villagers. The Armorer, a must have villager to get a full set of diamond tools for just emeralds. Farmer Villager, you get rid of your food production and get some valuable emeralds in return. Now you can trade those for something else. Librarian, my favorite villager of all of them, since you can get any enchanted book from him and for a very good price if you do the one emerald trick. We have a lot of librarian villagers in our world and we really like those. Mason, we like building with quartz blocks and this is a huge time saver to get those. Toolsmith, diamond tools, we all need them and this is a good way to get them without wasting your diamonds. Keep the diamonds for something else. I hope you found this helpful and can now trade your world to the next level. Thanks for watching, bye.